Last episode, we introduced you to the Ceasefire Project and its effort to reduce gun crime in Lexington. The Ceasefire Project also deals with cases involving gangs. That's right, you heard me, gangs. Typically, we think of gangs being in big cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, or... But the truth is, gangs are right here in Lexington. Gangs are located throughout Lexington and are not limited to one race. Looked at our gangs here in the city of Lexington. A lot of times gangs will get a stigma uh, attached to a certain races. Uh, you know, certain gangs may be looked at as an African American gang or a predominantly Hispanic gang or an all white gang, whatever it may be. Uh, but in our city, that's not necessarily the case. A number of Lexington police officers have become experts in identifying gang graffiti, activities, and paraphernalia. Several have been trained to be able to testify in gang trials as experts. With gang members. Some of them have been given to us by the gang members. Others uh, we've taken as part of active investigations. As you see here, you've got a guy that writes shorty back of the Raiders hat on school books or other things that they have around the house, part of that fanaticism that they buy into. This bandana to a gang member is the same thing as a flag is to a country. Take wrapped around one of the end to uh, give it a, a better handle for gripping and also... The Ceasefire Project has dealt with over 50 defendants who are involved in gangs right here in Lexington. Gang crimes range from drug trafficking to burglary to murder. Perhaps the highest profile gang case with which the Ceasefire Project has been involved was what has been called the Latin King murder case. Prosecutors Cindy Rieger and Brad Bryant were responsible for prosecuting the seven gangsters who murdered one of their own. The Ceasefire Project obtained a grant in 2008 which allowed 49 police and prosecutors from Central Kentucky to go to Florida for an identification and investigation of gangs. That group continues to meet to share gang intelligence about activities of gangs in Central Kentucky. I have been privileged to be part of the Ceasefire Project and I've been impressed with the dedication of everyone involved in dealing with armed and dangerous criminals and gangsters in Lexington. This is Caroline Dunn signing out. See you next time.